guys, welcome back to Mavis Plays Minecraft. Um, sorry about the F3, I'll get that out of the way for you guys. So, I've been hard at work here and I wanted to show off what I've done. Um, you guys missed me, I died. <laughs> um, I hit the ground too hard. And I'll show you why. I, hopefully something will be in here soon. Um, I used um, the mob experience farm zombie experience thing, whatever it is, um, that Vintage Beef posted on his channel, and I attempted to make my own, and the first time I tried, I was very unsuccessful. Um, the first time I built it, it ended up here. This is where the cage was. This is where they fell out of the ceiling from, and um, they were getting clogged up up there, so it wasn't working, so I had to go in and dig down again, and I fell once and died, so that was fun. Um, and the first time I actually was like, oh, is it going to work? And I was standing here waiting for zombies to fall. One fell on my face and scared the shit out of me. So you guys missed that too. <laughs> so yay, a zombie. So it's working so far. That's exciting. Yeah, before I died, I was at a level 23 and I was super happy about that because I was going to go enchant some stuff. And I died and lost all my experience. So that sucks. But now I have this to uh, fix that. Um, so let's go, I just want to open it up back here and show you guys what I did. And the reason why I did it off camera was because I have never built one of these before and I didn't want to just, you know, suck it up so bad and you guys be making fun of me and all that good stuff. So I attempted it offhand. Um, one thing I wanted to show you guys, I realized I uncovered this a little bit and realized that it's kind of like a cross there. It's strange, strange formation. Um, so yeah, I did all of my building off camera because I didn't want you guys to think I sucked because I do sometimes that's okay so this is the zombie it's um, a water elevator back there um, we'll go ahead and show you guys let me shut off this stuff stop spawning in here don't push me stupid water alright are there any zombies in here with me I hope not Okay, so what I did was, back here, um, these are all source blocks of water, and they are going to push the zombies this way, and in there is another source block of water, and it will push the zombies that way. Um, sounds like there might be some still in there, or maybe they're down in the trap, I don't know. So then this is the grand water elevator, and all it is is... Um, every other block is a sign, and then where there isn't a sign, on the opposite side, I have a hole dug out, and I filled that with water, so that's a, a water source in there. Let me get my sword out just in case here. Actually, I'm probably going to need a torch first of all. Um, very dark in here. <laughs> kind of scary. Okay, sword, please, because I don't know what's going to get me. So then, yeah, there is another, the top here, there is another source block of water, and it's going to push all the bad stuff. I'm going to actually move this back one. Um, all the bad stuff pushes it this way. Um, this is where my initial tunnel was, I believe. One of these two blocks here. And, sorry if you can't see, there we go. Yeah, there. I think there's a zombie down there, maybe. Um, so, I think it was here was where it was. I don't know. I can't remember. But all it did was it would push the water down, and that room was full of water. So I had to move it out of the... The water stops flowing right here. So then the zombies drop down there. They get taken enough fall damage um, that I only have to hit them one time once they fall. So that's nice. Okay, let's go back down here and reactivate our spawner. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. I've never made anything like that before, and um, I just watched, it was Vintage Beef and Pause on Pause um, building it, and I think, I mean, I was able to build it, so thank you, Beef, for, you know, making the instructions at least kind of good. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, I don't want to get eaten by zombies. Oh, and here he comes. Get out of here. Quickly. Alrighty. Bye bye, torches. Zombies don't eat my face off. Oh, God. Okay, so see, he's going to get pushed down there. The other water will push him down to the elevator. And then he'll go up where I will collect him on the other side. So let's go check that out real quick. I just don't want stuff to get in there. Stupid rain. Yay, look, there's zombies waiting for us. Oh, yay. This makes me happy. Do I have any wood on me? No. Alright, so I foresee myself putting some chests in here to collect all the goods, zombie flesh and stuff that I don't necessarily want to carry around with me all the time. Oops. Um, and eventually, once we're able to do some potion making... I'll probably do just like Vintage Beef did in his video and make um, potions to kill these guys. Because that way I'm not wasting my swords and all that good stuff. I could probably just hit him with a bucket. Yay! <laughs> Look at us go! Yeah, I worked on that thing last night forever. <laughs> it took me forever. I finally just had to call it a night and go to bed. And um, Luckily, it didn't take me too long just now. I've been playing for about maybe half an hour. Um, so it took me probably 15 minutes to finish it up just now. Um, yeah. So that's the update for now. Uh, well... I'll go show you guys something else, too. Zombies. So, I think I might have decided where I want to build. Um, like an actual home. So let me show you guys that real quick. Um, really like these hilly areas. And there's emeralds here, so... That's never bad. I set up a little area back here where I have been um, just farming some wood from these trees back here. Um, and I don't know if you can see, it's kind of getting nighttime so you can see, but right where my crosshair is, I built kind of like a little pathway around that thing, uh, that little mountainous area. And I really like this one right here, too. I like kind of how it spirals up. So I was thinking about maybe doing something there with the spiral, just kind of continuing that up. Or um, actually building over here. But one of these two tree area or mountain area things are going to be where I build my home. Because I just really think that that's a cool formation right there. With all the cutouts and the, like arm pieces and stuff. I like it. Um, am I going the wrong way? Yeah. So right here is where I have kind of set up shop and I brought some more reeds over here to have that in case I need it. Um, bunch of wood in here. All that fun stuff. Let's eat some food real quick. So yeah. Work in progress, guys. We're actually starting stuff now and I really think that I'm going to use this as my home base because I just like the way it's laid out. It's cool. There's a lot of weird areas up there and I'm not sure if I'm going to actually build like in there or on top of it or what I'm going to do yet, but endless possibilities. So yeah, I just I keep, you know, chopping down the trees here and replanting them as I go and all that good stuff. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here for now. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.